Hey, so um, today I just wanted to quickly share um, a little tutorial about how to use Hootsuite. Hootsuite is a website that allows you to schedule your posts on any of your social media platforms, um, and that includes any of your Facebook groups, um, which is perfect for challenge groups, uh, but also Twitter and Instagram um, and any other social media platform that you might be using. I think you can even do um, like LinkedIn and maybe even Pinterest. I'm not sure about that. Um, definitely LinkedIn and Google, but um, yeah, maybe, I don't think, maybe Pinterest. Um, so what, um, what I'd like to do is just go through how to add a group, how to um, schedule, and then how to remove a group, because those are kind of the main three things. So when you sign up for Hootsuite, um, it's called Hootsuite, H-O-O-T, like an owl. So like we use it in challenge groups to schedule for 4 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and, or I guess the, the groups, many of the groups, I, I'm on Eastern time. So many of the groups that um, I am in are admined by somebody living on the East Coast. Um, and a lot of people get up, you know, very early. So we'd like to schedule at 4 a.m to make sure that um, you know, the early birds uh, can see the first post if they happen to check before um, they do their workout. So um, the way that you, so there are two types of accounts. There's a paid account and a free account. Um, the only one that you're gonna need is the free account, um, unless you really get involved and you wanna find out you know, kind of more of the options with the paid account. So uh, with the free account, you can have three social media networks um, linked, but that include, but that really means three groups within Facebook if you're exclusively using Facebook. Um, so the way that you would add a group is you go over here to um, the left-hand side to the little pop-out and you wanna go to streams. Um, that's gonna be kind of your home base. Um, you go up here to send to and that's going to be where you compose your post um, and you go to add social network so this okay so this here this is everything that you can post to facebook google wordpress if you have a blog um, youtube if you want to upload a video um, linkedin for business accounts twitter facebook obviously so you click facebook and then you want to connect um, it has you sign in And then once you're signed in, um, it gives you a list of all the groups that you are in. So if you want to add your personal profile or if you have a like page, you can add either of those. Um, so for now, I'm just going to use the team page to, uh, as an example, you select the one you want and you click done. So then once you've selected the group that you wanna to post to, you come up here again to send to, and it's, you don't have to click, you just hover over it and you select where you want to post or where you want to schedule the post to be. So here's our team page. Then you type out your post. So Zoom call test. Um, you can add a link to a website here or you can add social, uh, a media, um, you know, if you wanted to add a video or if you had a picture you needed to add, um, just, you know, like a normal browser, you choose here to look, upload files. And then um, you want to schedule it. So you pick the day. You're going to do it Sunday, bright and early in the morning, a.m., p.m. When you, over here on the left is a.m., p.m., the darker shaded gray is the one that's selected. So be sure you select the correct one. Whoops. Um, sometimes that happens. If you click off, it'll, it's still there, but you just can't see it. So you have to go back up. Um, and then you can have it email you when the message is sent. So if you wanted to be sure that it posted without having to log into Facebook for whatever reason, um, you can have it email you when it posts. Then you can either save a draft or you can schedule it. So let's go ahead and schedule it. Um, to go and check and see that it's been scheduled, there's this little arrow here called Publisher on the left-hand side. You click Publisher and then here's if you have any drafts that you've saved, they're gonna be there. Um, ones that you've scheduled, here they are. Um, I've got two scheduled for tomorrow. So um, if you want to edit or delete it, you can do all of that from here. 
Um, say you wanted to change the time, you go to edit. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because I don't need to post this. But um, you know, if you had one that you needed to change for any reason, this is where you do it. So you click delete and then you say, yes, I want to. Um, and then the last thing will be once you have been posting and you have a couple of groups um, linked to your Hootsuite account, eventually you'll need to get rid of one to make room for another one. So the way that you do that is you go over here, um, you go up to the top, which is like your account with your name, with a little owl face, and then you see all three of them listed down here. So I've got my two groups that I'm adminning and then the team page that I just added. So then what you'll do is you click the settings icon and remove from Hootsuite. And then we'll confirm, okay. And then that's it. So um, again, you know, very easy. Um, it allows you to basically have the opportunity to schedule when you're not going to be at the computer. Um, one thing that I will mention is just based on the algorithm that Facebook runs, um, Facebook doesn't give priority to posts that are not posted um, through Facebook. So it'll still be there, but it just won't show up in as many people's news feeds. It won't probably get as much traction. Um, so it's not something that I would recommend using on your personal page for a lot of your posts. Obviously, you know, it's not gonna do any harm if you need to do that for whatever reason. But um, it's best if you can post directly to your page when you wanna post. Um, again, you know, in, in groups, it doesn't really matter so much because it's, everybody's gonna, it's, everybody's gonna see it. It's not something that shows up in people's news feeds. You know, it's just within the confines of the group. And so that's totally fine. But as far as getting traction on your posts and, you know, really having the biggest impact as possible, um, Hootsuite um, is, is a good tool, but probably not the best option. So um, if there are any questions, um, please post them in the comments and um, have a great day.